How's it going, everybody? It's just like Keith Spencer Hughes. Continue on with the Daybreak Show. Happy to have in studio now as we're bringing folks back in from Central Mason Fire and EMS, Fire Chief Mike Patty. Hey, Mike, how are you? Hi, Jeff. How are you? I really am uh, honored and I was uh, thankful to be a part of the lieutenant's exams for you guys. And it was uh, a real eye-opening experience to learn um, a little bit more from the potential lieutenant candidates and I know that what we did was just one aspect of it. And this is a lieutenant position is is a big position in the fire department. It is for us. It's uh, the, kind of the supervisor, if you will, of the engine company. And in the outlying areas of the district, it's the station supervisor for the shift. One thing I was really impressed with, well, all five candidates for the lieutenant's position uh, spoke very well and very highly of all that Central Mason has to offer. The presentations that I was watching was as if we were chamber members mm -hmm. and they were kind of explaining the uh, the levies that you guys have to go through every six years. And I've got, you know, some background talking with you over the years and other fire departments uh, over Mason County, but it just was, um, it was good to hear. It was good to hear from them. It was good to understand kind of the culture of the fire department. And it just seems like from you at the top all the way down, People are really buying into Central Mason, the mission statement for Central Mason, and what good it does for not just the district, but for the outlying districts with your mutual aid and the fact that you're a um, ALS service, you have to go out there and help those other districts sure. that are the um, BLS and things like that. So what's the process now? How many opportunities for lieutenants? We only had five people are, are applying. Mm -hmm. But we might see all those eventually. You got a lot. You've had a lot of staff too over the last few years. Right. We've got uh, 52 people right now in the department. Uh, we have maybe a, a lieutenant that will be retiring probably sometime this year, mm -hmm. and we have rumblings of up to another one, maybe even two retiring within the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. Uh, along with the, uh, we're growing rapidly yeah. in Central Mason, and there's a good possibility we can exhaust this entire list within the two-year life of this list. So we could be doing this this whole evolution again within two years. It seems, if I'm mistaken, but it seems like in the last five years or so, basically doubled your staff. Exactly. That is a, a great testament to the work that I'm sure you do within the relationships with the city of Shelton, with the partnerships there, with the county, with the other fire districts, and, and then that is massive growth. One of the things that we talked about, it seems as though it's about an eight and a half minute average on call times. Right. And when you start getting folks into the other outlying stations, I know there's some work people are doing to have those staffed more, those times go down. And that's a benefit to everybody. Right. We're uh, looking at uh, uh, increasing our uh, presence in the uh, in the district itself. We're looking at uh, restaffing a station out in the Mason Lake area. We're looking at that right now. We're also looking at adding some residents in the Harstein Island uh, station because mm. that's an area that our response time is is not where we want it to be. Right. So these are all things that um, we have to look at. The commissioners are looking at uh, maybe relocating stations. Our stations were all built in the 70s where the population base was at the time. Mm -hmm. And our population base has, has shifted quite a bit. So we may have to look at relocating some of those stations uh, and doing some heavy duty remodeling of the stations that we leave in place. Wow, yeah. Breathe in a sigh of relief after the voters uh, overwhelmingly uh, passed your replacement levy here, continuing on for the next six years. Yes. And um, one of the things that was brought up, and I thought it was very interesting, and it was the first time I'd heard about it actually in this sense over the over the times I've heard these presentations, was that you know for the levy dollars here, there is a direct correlation to. Uh, you know, lower insurance rate for business mm -hmm. owners. And for every dollar in on the levy, there's a potential for up to maybe $3 to come back on lowered insurance rates and things like that. So people, especially in the business community, really need to think about that as part of their reasonings for these. Well, and the fire departments originally uh, were started by the insurance companies. We're, basically, the fire department is an insurance company. Sure. You pay your tax dollars every year. Uh, as an insurance policy to say we're here to protect your property and your life. Uh, 
we had uh, the Washington Survey and Rating Bureau came out and saw us in September and went through our operation, looked at our records, looked at our training reports, looked at our maintenance and our facilities. Uh, we told them that we were getting our four new engines here uh, rather soon. And we were rewarded with that by having our uh, rating reduced from a seven to a five, mm -hmm. uh, which helps greatly in our, in our insurance rating. So th those are all big pluses uh, for the citizens and the business owners in, in our fire district. And when you look at the rates over this uh, per 100, per thousand, you know, 50 cents per thousand, over the course of a year on a $300,000 home, it's like, you know, eight bucks, 12 bucks, yeah. something like that. And one thing that kind of popped in my head yes, yesterday or when we were doing the uh, lieutenant's exam was, you know, that is a, that is a great, life-saving insurance policy. Mm -hmm. And that can be for someone anywhere. You know, if you're driving on the road and you have an uh, incident or a heart attack and you call for EMS at 911, they'll, you guys will come out. But it's, you know, that is a person on the road. We also talked about how the population basically doubles over the summer. Right. So there's a lot of people in here. Right. So your, your investment in the levy goes to a whole lot more protection than just the protection on your house. Exactly. It goes to the citizens, it goes to the visitors, and it goes to, you know, spreads the pool. Yep, whether you live, work, or play in Mason County, we're there to protect you. Yeah, very cool. There's a lot of great fire districts all throughout the county. I know you've got good partnerships with all of them, uh, but right now we're talking about the lieutenants who will, uh, hopefully some will move on at great representation. So I know it'll be a tough decision for you guys. And we really appreciated your assistance yesterday. Uh, I know it was uh, short notice when we asked you, uh, and uh, for you and the other folks that uh, came in yesterday to help us out, we really appreciated your assistance. From Central Mason Fire and EMS, it's Fire Chief Mike Patty. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me.